Hello G Nation, it's your host G, and we got a brand new character release. It is Randy Orton, the Undead Predator. Zombie Orton, basically. I think he looks pretty damn good. The poster looks pretty cool, although at first glance I didn't really see Orton right away, but looking at it I do. But yeah, character model looks pretty damn good. If we have a look at the card first, he's an acrobat. His coach ability is at 26,000. Moving gems, trap countdown, juggernaut that generate purple gems will create three more purple gems. Increase kickout damage done by gem by 10%. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Obviously, you need him at 6k for to get the 26k. But if you get him at 17k, it is still the same thing except it generates two more purples. So still very damn good even there. He has links with the other zombies and modern era and doesn't have any gear. Now the first moveset we're going to have a look at and uh, I've already seen a bunch of moveset. So the first one is going to be the ZKO 10 MP blue move finisher deals 109k damage destroy <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, destroy 32 random multiply gems and pin the opponent. The decapitating spine crusher 6 MP blue move deals 70.9k damage and choose three gems to make into one turn countdown gem that will make nine random gems into multiply gems of strength four. And the shambling decapitator 6 MP purple move deals 69.7k damage and choose four gems to make into blue gems. Trainers, you got a lot of different options here. Now, if this was a feud or if you do not have Mr. Perfect like I do, I would definitely go with Woods instead. Now, I'm going with Mr. Perfect because with the perks and the fact that this is a tour, that's going to mean that both my decapitating and shambling moves are both going to be ready on the first turn. Otherwise, simply go with, me, with uh, Woods. That way you're going to have your purple move ready. And you can get your blue on the very first turn if you're just careful where you're laying them. Uh, second trainer, I went with Matt Hardy to boost the strength of the multiply. You could go with Demon Valor to increase the damage of the uh, multipliers. You could go with Jimmy Uso to add a one turn countdown as well. Uh, instead, for me, I went with Vet Cena to get that extra one because you really do want to have an extra fourth one. Because otherwise you're only making three three times nine that's 27 and we're destroying 32 so i want to destroy 32 so i need some more plus if he destroys one of those countdown you're down to two you're going to be doing only 18 so you really want to maximize the amount of multiply gems you're going to get you don't need to have too many of them because like if you have 40 something you're still only destroying 32 and you're not picking which ones so just a four gem is fine. So either Jimmy as a trainer or Cena as a coach. I went with Cena as a coach because I get more benefit from having Matt as a trainer as opposed to just having another coach. Uh, other coach, I put Rock there so that my multiply do one per, uh, create plus one on their value and do 5% more damage. So that way I'm going to be making multiplies of strength seven. Uh, other options you can have you could put santa ogan uh, santa ogan would add a flat 2200 damage to all gem i'm kind of getting more out of rock for that one percent uh, for that five percent and an extra uh, x1 on the multiplier but santa ogan would be a great option there you can't really specify a color that you want to that you want to boost because again you can't pick which one are going to get the multiplier and which one you're going to destroy. So it's going to be a little bit of everything. For the belt, for the same reason, uh, I didn't go with the uh, pyro because there's there's two plate that basically boost your damage after you make multiplier. There's the Alexa plate, the pyro plate, which boosts your blue damage. And there's the tiara that boosts your black damage. But again, since I can control what color gem are going to get the multipliers and which ones I'm going to destroy. It's kind of a waste to use it. I mean, I guess you could still use it because you're probably going to get some of them that are going to have those. But instead, I went with the smoke. Uh, with the smoke, you're going to get a little more. You know what? 
I'm not going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the Pyroplate, because I think I'll be able to control some of those to be blue. Let's... And I'll, I'll tell you why. I think I'll be able to control some of them to be blue. Okay, let's try that. Uh, the gems, I put some normal fury. I didn't go with fury 2, because most people don't have them. Hell, I only have four of them leveled myself, so I kept regular fury. How oh, cool, he has a snake on the entrance. That's nice. All right, so first thing we're gonna lay down our countdowns. Now normally if you went with woods, that move wouldn't be ready yet, so you would go with the purple move instead, and you would have to be careful to get your, uh, to get your blue move going. Now, this will give me the blue I need. Unfortunately, I can't make any purple cascade. I kind of want to. I kind of wanted to have some blue cascades so I would get some purple, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We still have the countdown that's going to be ready. Now I'm going to have a whole bunch of multipliers. Unfortunately, I only have two that are blue right now. Those two blues are 190k, though. That should do a decent amount of damage. Three point two mil One, two. without much cascade. That's pretty good. And I didn't have any or only two blue gems there, so that didn't add that much. <coughs> You could have gone with the smoke plate too. That g gives you purple when you, uh, when you. For consistency, I would probably go with the blue plate instead, the uh, smoke plate instead, which gives you purple when you, uh, when you, uh, when you break blue. Uh, that way, it kind of helps if he kicks out and you got to do it again. It kind of cycles your purple. Right, well, let's look at something else. All right, second move set for Orton is going to be a variation of what we just saw. Uh, we're going to still use the ZKO and the Shambling Decapitator, but we're changing the move that was creating the countdown for the Bite. It is a 4 MP red move, deal 104k damage, and choose two gem to make... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> choose two gem to make into two-turn Juggernaut gem. That will increase your blue MP by 5 on every countdown turn and modify a 4x4 random area into multiply gems of strength 3 at the end of the countdown. Now for that, uh, we're going to be using set so that we're creating four more blue gems with the de decapitator. Uh, the main purpose of that decapitator, by the way, because the bite will give us both the multiplies that we're going to need for the finisher and it's also going to give us the blue MP we need for the finisher. I don't care about the decapitator to get my blue. I'm going to care for it because I'm going to be using those created blues to convert some of my lower damage gem uh, that have a multiply on it into blue so that I have more blues to destroy with the finisher. Uh, we're still using math so that we're making a plus two on the multiplier value. Same for the rug, adding plus one and a 5% increase. And I'm putting here uh, Snoop. 
uh, just so I can have my blue do 20% more damage and red also as a bonus. You could put in Santa Ogan, you could put in, uh, who's, uh, is it Afa, I think, that adds 15% to blue too. Basically anything boosting your blue damage. Let's try that. Uh, keeping the same setup for the belt, I still have the Alexa Blade since we're going to try to play out and get as much blue damage as we can. Let's see how this one turns out. Now the downside of this moveset as opposed to the first one is while it might do a little more damage, which wasn't really a problem really, uh, it might be a turn slower though. Unless he pins you. If he can pin us on his turn, we're going to save a turn. And we'll be able to do this turn two. Otherwise, it might be turn three. So I'm going to put them there. I'll give this red. Uh, ideally, I kind of want him to pin me right now. He did not. He should have gone for those three, three multiplying black. We'll make two more countdowns. Fortunately, that didn't go too well for me. It didn't do much to me though. Now he uses him. I guess that means we'll have both of them. Now they're gonna go off, plus we lost one along the way. Oh, and it overrides the one I already had. Well, that didn't turn out good at all. All right, so now we're gonna make some gems. So obviously we're gonna replace the uh, the loot gems because those do no damage now green is also one of my lower value although i also don't want them to connect is there another one i can place somewhere that won't connect actually if i do it like that they won't all right Alright, so now I have a lot of blue gems here, and they're doing 210k each. So now that should do a pretty decent amount of damage. Got all of them. 3.6 mil. And you can definitely get some higher damage with this than the other one. The downside is, it is slower, and it is even more random than the first one. So even though we're putting bigger number there, I still kind of like the first one better. All right, let's look at uh, something else now. All right, third move set for Orton Zombie. It is this time, again, a variation of what we just saw. It is still the ZKO and the Bite, but we're using the third move, the Rotting Viperplex or Viperplex. It is a 7 MP red move, deals 72.7k damage, and force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. The trainers we're going to use here is Butch, so that we start with more red, could use Sting too. Uh, we're still going to use Matt to boost the value of the multiplier, as well as Ruck. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and we're going to use x pack uh, as the second coach just to try to get more of that red the reason for that is we're going to try to at least keep this the, the skip turn going or the stun every turn so we're going to have or red that's going to give us or blue and the multipliers we're going to need to destroy and just try to use the stun as much as we can that same reason here i switched i didn't care as much uh, for the blue damage since the stun should help us, but I went with the uh, aftershock plate 
And only reason for that is if I don't have a red match on my turn, then I could go for a green match to try to get some red. So it's just maybe giving me a second color to get my red. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so we got this done. Now we are going to have some red match, so that's perfect. is on now we're gonna lay down for juggernauts and I get our red match now it's gonna give me my blue now I'm gonna have Another batch of juggernauts. Uh, the stun, I mean. Now the juggernauts. We still won't be able to do anything on this turn. Down. Now I gotta wait one more turn for my multiply to get on the map. We're gonna do a swap here. He still can't do anything anyway. Unfortunately, they both overwrote each other. That sucks. Would have been nice if they landed in different space. That's not gonna hit for nearly as much. Point two mil, probably still gonna be enough. I would have had another batch to do it another time next turn, but that was enough. Yeah, we definitely were not lucky because they both landed on top of each other. I'm actually gonna try it again just to see. Now we don't have a red this time. Sun is on. That means I'm probably not going to have enough red <coughs> next turn. At least I do have a green match. That's going to give me some red. Now we got this. Gonna put another juggernaut. Now you don't want to put them on black because he's converting black. Still have no red, but we're gonna get some green. That'll fill my stun. Be usable next turn. Now our multiply will go off now. Now we got a decent amount. We're gonna use the stun. At a decent amount, but there's not a lot of blues in it. One more juggernauts out. And now we'll use the finisher. I we're getting a little lower resolve than the previous two and even though we do have a stun it looks like a lot more steps to get there so not as not as impressed on that one as the previous two so let's look at something else now all right other moves set for Orton using the other moves we haven't touched it is going to be the gruesome dropkick 
6 MP Blue Move deals 71.2k damage and choose 4 gems to make into purple gems. The Decapitating Spine Crusher 6 MP Blue Move deals 70.9k damage and choose 3 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gem that will make 9 random gems into multiply gems of strength 4. And now the Unearthed Power Slam 7 MP Purple Move deal 82.3k damage and make 18 random gems into one turn countdown gem that will make two random gems into blue gems at the end of the countdown so basically we're going to have two countdown gems that are going to happen at the same time making a ton of gem into multipliers and a ton of gem into blue which should cause a lot of havoc so Trainers for that, we're going to put uh, Lawler to start with blue. We're going to use math so that our multipliers are going to be plus two. Rock so that the multipliers are going to be plus one and plus five percent. And I'm putting... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm putting a Vet Cena here. So I'm generating one extra uh, countdown gem. So I have more multipliers on the field. And uh, that's about it. I mean, you could start with Woods too. And the uh, offset to that is that, well, it would be harder to get your blue going. You would pretty much need to get a swap. Starting with the blue is much more consistent because you're guaranteed to get all your move off on the first turn. All right, as far as the title, same thing as last time, except we're going to go back with the Alexa plate because we're going to be making a ton of blue and multipliers. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. So the Alexa Blade, whenever you make six or more multiply gem, increase your blue gem damage by 50% for two turns. There we go. We're back with that. Still Fury 1 uh, medals, not Fury 2. All right. So basically, it's pretty simple. You got to get an extra turn, either by making a five match or by just ending your turn and getting everything not done on the next one. Ideally, you kind of want it to stay your turn, but you need to do so getting some purple. So we're going to use the blue move here. We're going to make a five match with purple here. And oh, we're not going to get a cascade. I'm actually going to put one here just to prevent in case there's a black that drops here that would connect with those and we're going to replace uh, a loot gem here so normally this should perfect stay my turn that's perfect now we're going to put the countdown gems the reason why it's important is, is because now i got one two three four five i got six six uh, slots before i get a pin but i do have a wild card waiting so that means if I do just a 3 match, it's going to remain my turn. Now we're going to lay down those here. But I got to make a 3 match that does not have a, uh, a cascade. I'm going to go with those 3 and hopefully it's going to stay my turn. Perfect. So now I'm getting an extra turn. Those go off and everything gets blown up. That should do a pretty decent, yeah, 4.8 million right there. Almost 5 million. And that did quick work on Rocky. This is my favorite moveset. Now, you do have to be a little careful on how you do it, but it's not really something hard to do. And it can definitely be limited as far as screwing it up. So we're actually gonna try it another time just to see. Just how repeatable that is. Okay, so let's do our purple. Let's do one here. Didn't want to connect there because I don't want to connect with those. Let's open that in cascades. Perfect, nothing did. Now we're gonna make or randoms. And we're gonna, we're gonna add 
the other four. And I'm gonna sacrifice one here because I wanna try to get a match the higher up possible so that there's less chance for a cascade. There you go, and now everything should go off. Eh, not much of a cascade with it. Still got 5.2 million out of that. That's still pretty damn good. Yeah, really like this moveset. So that's uh, pretty much it for Orton. Now I'm sure you could mess around and maybe get some more moveset by moving some moves around. But I think we already saw a lot of good moveset. I'd say exceptional character for sure. Have a look what his six star move is. Let's have a look here. And deal X damage and increase your blue gem damage by 10% for a tutor. All right, so that's definitely, you could, you could go in and put that with those for sure, mix it up a bit and increase your blue gem damage to an either, even higher amount. I don't know how high it goes. We can check that on the portal, I guess. Let's see if I, if he's open. Portal at six star. It goes up by 90%. It deals 88.6k damage and increase your blue gem damage by 90% for two turn. So yeah, definitely usable as well. So that is it for Randy Orton, the Undead Predator. He has already been released because we had to wait to do this preview because one of the moves was bugged. Obviously now they're fine. So that is it. Randy Orton released right now. Really, really powerful zombie. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.